the various performances, including poems and narrations and dramas, then followed. <laughs> Continue to destroy you! Get out of here! <laughs> Lisa, I'll destroy you! Lisa, Visual artists as well had a field day displaying their merchandise. Traditional dancers weren't left out either. Behind the scenes, the NIFTA models perfected their walking skills. Apparently modeling every move counts. Back at the busy floor, these break dancers defied all normal body functions and made their bones do near impossible things. Most of the people at the concert having watched those slick Jackie Chan movies were only too glad to watch live this Taekwondo performance by the International Youth Fellowship. <laughs> NIFTA was truly an international festival. Up to this moment, the success of the first ever arts festival in Kenya was without doubt. It therefore made much sense to inquire about its future. The future of NIFTA is big. It's actually looking up. It's uh, going to be bigger than uh, what we all thought, actually. Uh, it's going to be bigger than the dream that we had at first. Because uh, we envisage that, um, for instance, the year 2007, NIFTA is going to encompass um, groups from around the country, nationally, and uh, we are looking to build capacity enough to bring in artists from uh, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi, wherever, all around the world. This was, uh, as I said, said in the opening, it was the, the first uh, NIFTA. Uh, I hope 
there will be a second one next year. But at the same time, in, in meantime, I also hope that those people who showed what they were able to also get a stimulus to go on with what they were doing. And Exit the martial arts and in came the ever prolific Sarakasi dancers. And as always with them, they didn't disappoint. And the crowd here let them know all about that. Considering the huge number of artists that converged at the fit, the question of how the Secretariat got all of them to take part in the festival was such a nag it had to be answered. Actually, I managed to get like half the artists I expected. The reason being that being an international festival, we had so much logistics in terms of transport to get uh, the artists here. So what we did, we, we sourced locally and it, it's been taxing since uh, we find like, I mean to represent all the countries around it's been hectic, but actually we managed to get artists from all over the world and we also managed to get artists from all over Kenya as well. That sorted out, Nifta's finest and fairest took to the floor. From the casual wear, the African dress code and eventually the evening wear, the models glided their way right into the hearts of the throng. Mumani and John Muthair were declared the first ever winners of Miss and Mr. Nifta respectively. <laughs> Having observed several acrobats perform during the first three days of the event, one could have easily concluded that this form of art was a preserve of men. It thus came as a welcome relief when these young ladies showcased their skills in the same field, thereby fostering the fact that art is not sexist. <laughs> and as sunset fast approached, it was time.